Με βάση πρόσφατη έρευνα από το Harvard Business Review αποδείχτηκε ότι ένα σημαντικός παράγοντας που βοηθά τους οργανισμούς να πετύχουν εξαιρετικά αποτελέσματα είναι το πόσο engaged είναι ο κόσμος τους μέσα στον οργανισμό. Πόσο συμμετέχουν, πόσο ενεργοί είναι και πόσο ενδιαφέρονται να συγχρονιστούν και να ταυτιστούν και να συμμετέχουν στην επέντευξη των στόχων του οργανισμού. Για να το πετύχουμε αυτό, ε, σίγουρα πρέπει να κοιτάξουμε τη στρατηγική που φέρνει το HR σε ένα οργανισμό και με τη χρήση της τεχνολογίας και των σύγχρονων συστημάτων να μπορέσει να το επιτεύξει. Ε, με το success factors, το οποίο είναι cloud λύση, α, ε, έχετε πλέον στα χέρια σας ένα πάρα πολύ χρήσιμο, εύχρηστο, ε, flexible και έξυπνο εργαλείο για να μπορέσετε να επιτεύξετε αυτούς τους στόχους και να φέρετε τον κόσμο του οργανισμού πιο κοντά σε αυτό που θέλουμε να επιτεύξουμε σαν οργανισμός. Με τη λύση Success Factors θα μπορείτε μέσα από ένα πολύ σύγχρονο mobile και collaborative περιβάλλον να δώσετε ένα εργαλείο στους χρήστες το οποίο είναι πάρα πολύ εύκολο στη χρήση. Έχει ασωματωμένα best practices και διάφορα άλλα στοιχεία που θα αναφερθώ, θα σας περιγράψω σε λίγο καλύτερα. Πολύ εύκολο στο, στο να λειτουργήσει και από την πλευρά του HR. Ε, είναι πιο εύκολο να στηθεί και να υλοποιήσετε τις διαδικασίες που χρειάζεται και να τις παρακολουθάτε. Ε, βασισμένο πάνω σε μια τεχνολογία SAP ε, που αναφυσβήτητα είναι κορυφαία, κορυφαίες τεχνολογίες που προσφέρει στους πελάτες της και με τέτοιο εργαλείο μπορείτε πλέον να επιτεύξετε και τους στόχους του HR που είναι να, είναι πιο στρατη... να έχει πιο στρατηγικό ρόλο μέσα στον οργανισμό. Αυτό είναι απλώς μια ένα δείγμα του τι περιεχόμενο μπορείτε να πάρετε μαζί με το σύστημα το οποίο δεν έρχεται κενό. Έρχεται με best practices τα οποία η SAP και οι success factors έχουν συλλέξει όλα αυτά τα χρόνια από τη διεθνή τους εμπειρία και τα έχουν ενσωματώσει και τα δίνουν στους πελάτες τους. Αυτά περιλαμβάνουν τεράστιους καταλόγους από skills, competencies, ακόμα και στόχους ή job descriptions και άλλα στοιχεία που χρησιμοποιάτε στο χώρο του HR. Πολύ σημαντικά είναι τα best practices που δίνει μέσα από το σύστημα και τα οποία ενημερώνονται με τις τάσεις της αγοράς και το πώς, αλλάζουν, πώς αλλάζει ο χώρος του HR. Ε, αυτή είναι μια συνοπτική εικόνα των ε, όλων των εργαλείων που προσφέρονται μέσα από τη λύση Success Factors. Καλύπτει όλο το φάσμα των λειτουργιών ε, στη ζωή, στο life cycle ενός υπαλλήλου στον οργανισμό, from hire to retire. Ε, και συμπεριλαμβάνει το recruiting and onboarding, ε, το learning management system, performance and goals, compensation, και Succession and Development. Όλα αυτά κάθονται πάνω σε μια πολύ πλούσια βάση από competency, skills και best practices και ε, εφόσον ο πελάτης ε, ενδιαφέρεται μπορεί να, να ενεργοποιήσει επίσης το Employee Central το οποίο είναι για τις βασικές λειτουργίες και αρχείων προσωπικού το οποίο μπορεί να χτίσετε ένα πολύ πλούσιο αρχείο προσωπικού με όλα τα δεδομένα που έχετε αυτή τη στιγμή σε, είτε σε Excel, είτε σε Box Files, είτε σε οποιοδήποτε άλλο μέσο ε, και να μπορέσει να τα συμπεριλάβει σε ένα και μόνο συ, συστήμα. Ε, και φυσικά οργανωτική δομή, την οποία θα τη στηρίξουμε και μέσα στο σύστημα. Το πιο σημαντικό αυτή τη στιγμή που μπορούμε να σας πούμε είναι ότι δεν χρειάζεται να ξεκινήσετε με κάποια συγκεκριμένη σειρά ή από κάποιο συγκεκριμένο module και να ακολουθήσετε μια συγκεκριμένη σειρά. Ξεκινάτε από το εργαλείο το οποίο θα σας δίσει, δώσει αυτή τη στιγμή περισσότερη αξία. Δηλαδή, μπορεί ήδη να έχετε κάποιο ε, σύστημα που κρατάτε το αρχείο του προσωπικού. Οπότε, αντί να το αντικαταστήσετε, αν η πρώτη σας κίνηση να το αντικαταστήσετε, μπορείτε να πάτε σε μια άλλη επιλογή Παραδείγματο χάρη το Performance and Goals, το οποίο τώρα μπορεί να το κρατάτε σε Word Documents, τα οποία να κάνουν κύκλο με email, οπότε να το ενσωματώσετε σε ένα ε, σύστημα ηλεκτρονικό 
και να το, δέσε, να το δέσουμε με το υφιστάμενο σας σύστημα του, του, του αρχείου προσωπικού και να ξεκινήσετε από ένα σημείο που πραγματικά θα σας δώσει αξία. Τώρα στο μέλλον χρειαστεί να ξανασκεφτείτε από τη διαχείριση του ανθρώπινου του, του, του αρχείου των υπαλλήλων, τότε καλώς. Ε, το σημαντικό να, για να ξέρετε είναι ότι μπορείτε να επιλέξετε τη σειρά και το μέγεθος του ισελοποίησης που σας ενδιαφέρει να κάνετε. Σήμερα, στον τέμο μας, θα δείξουμε λίγο από Employee Central, ε, δηλαδή το αρχείο προσωπικού, οργανωτική δομή και α, άδειες, διαδικασία διαχείρισης αδειών, α, performance and goals και recruiting. Ε, θα επικοινωνήσουμε μαζί σας μετά, τη, μετά το τέλος του webinar. Σε περίπτωση που σας ενδιαφέρει, σας ενδιαφέρει το, το κάποιο άλλο module, ε, μπορεί να σας το δείξουμε σε συνάντηση, προσωπική συνάντηση. Και θα περάσουμε στο σύστημα. Και έχω πάρει μήνυμα ότι uh, θα πρέπει, καλύτερο θα ήταν να συνεχίσω στα αγγλικά. So, uh, we will continue the demo in English. So, um, this is my browser. I have, uh, let me hide a few things so that it will show bigger. Um, if you can maximize your screen, it will help you see better. Um, I have used my browser to log in. So, this is... Um, After I have logged in, my, the user I have used is Carla Grant. Carla Grant is an, um, a sales manager. She's not HR. And uh, this is her manager self-service um, login homepage. Depending on the role of the person, uh, they will get a different um, homepage. So an, um, a manager would have, for example, all tiles related to my team, whereas somebody who is not a manager would have a more simplified view of uh, the screen. As you can see, this is not the traditional software that you may be accustomed to. This is a more like um, um, a more, um, collaborative space and more uh, like the applications that, are, that users are now used to using on iPads and on uh, mobile devices. And it's very easy and easy to understand what each thing is because it use, it's using plain English. So the computer jargon is no longer needed. Um, this is a home page that can be customized by, the, by each user. Uh, so they can hide or enable different tiles. And they are grouped into different areas. One very important area is the to-do list. So the first thing that people see right when they, immediately when they log in, is what pending things they have assigned to them. So this list is maintained by the system itself. The user doesn't need to keep individual uh, lists. So the, for example, re uh, approving requests. These come from, a, from the requests that uh, different people uh, in the organization may uh, have towards this uh, manager, like an employee, uh, a time off request by Marcus or a spot bonus for William. So Carla, as a manager, she can quickly go through the different requests. And if it's something simple, she can quickly approve from here or um, navigate into the details and then decide if uh, she's going to approve or not. Uh, once she approves the request, this uh, tile will be removed. Uh, the same goes for all other tiles that you see here. Very important for manager self-service is some tiles that have to do with their team. A quick view of who is in the team and possibly some uh, pending uh, open openings. A team summary that quickly allows the, um, the manager to see who is who and some contact details and even a team location, which is great if you have uh, multi-locations and you have people working in different um, Uh, parts of the country or in different countries, so you have a, it's a visual um, help for the manager. Uh, let's navigate to the organizational chart, which is mostly what people start from. 
So when we import, uh, upload, and or create employees in the system, we relate them to their direct managers and other people in the organizational chart, such as in this one, in this case, you see the dotted line. Uh, it means that it's a matrix manager. And it's a very easy tool to use. You can navigate up and down. It doesn't need any special training. Um, and people, as they access the system, they can see uh, they have, can see some public information about these people with their pictures and contact details. So this is also very helpful when you have new people onboarding um, the company. And from here you can navigate and see who is reporting to whom. The amount of information that each person sees on another person depends on their role and the permissions that we will set up in the system. So as Carla, on her direct reports, of course she'll be able to see more information. From here she can quickly navigate and take some actions, jump to their goal plans, jump to some other areas, uh, or simply v see some uh, main contact public details from here quickly send an email or call, because remember that you can also access this from your mobile device, so you can just click and dial. So everything is, is simpler and very easily accessible. Now we're getting into the employee profile, which is basically a collection of all the data you want to keep on uh, your employees. The sections that you see here are configurable, uh, so you can call them and order them in any way you like. And it has to be represented, the, the data that you need to collect on uh, your employees. But just to give you an indication, we basically can create all these tabs with different sections on a person's uh, profile. For example, addresses uh, or personal information. And all of this, of course, behind this has a rich uh, history, audit history, so you can keep track of the changes and who has done what. And I'm not going to get into more details because, like, as I mentioned, you can build these um, as, you, as you like. Uh, going back to the process of uh, absence uh, requests, let's take a look at uh, how a person can, um, can uh, make a request. So if Carla herself would like to request time off, she can click on this and she gets into a screen with a calendar where she can immediately see how many vacation days she's entitled to and how many sick leaves and any other types of leave that you or organization needs to track. And from here she can just highlight the, the days that she wants to take off put some uh, description if it's vacation or sick leave or another type of leave, for example, a study leave um, or training or uh, a sabbatical, and put a comment and submit. So that would be the process, and, it's, and usually it's done by the mobile rather than um, people prefer to use the mobile for this. It's a very quick process. So in the end, once she submits it, her manager, and just like she's a manager, she can see her direct reports requests. She can see, for example, Markus Hoff, who requested time off. And she, if she's not sure that she wants to approve immediately, she can go get into the details. And also at the bottom, be able to see who else will, has uh, requested time off or has taken time off uh, from the same team at the same time. So all of these uh, tools are available for, um, for the users and the workflow of approval for approvals can be configured as per uh, your uh, specific needs. Uh, what I have clicked here is a list of all the modules of the system. So only the ones that uh, your organization has uh, configured and enabled will show up here. Currently, this uh, system has everything enabled. So let's go and navigate into the performance 
uh, module to take a look at how you what tools and what uh, what's available for you to use for uh, automation and running your annual semi-annual or whatever uh, performance evaluations this same uh, module can be used for end of probation or other procedures that you would like to run where at the end there is some kind of an evaluation so again this can be fully configured as per your needs but in what, what you will see in the end is um, the sequence of steps, the workflow, and where each person in the team of Carla is at the current moment. So for example, Brenda, uh, she's still in the employee self-assessment step, so in progress. Whereas Marcus has completed his self-assessment, so Carla can go, is ready now to go in and review. Uh, if you notice, there is a button here that says Ask for Feedback. This allows you, uh, the, allows the managers to request feedback from other people, maybe outside the circle, outside the specific team. It could be, it could even be external. It could be sent to a, a partner, a supplier, a customer, uh, and that feedback comes back automatically into the system, and, it, and it's. Um, with, it will be found within the performance form for reference uh, when uh, Carla will evaluate um, the specific employee. Um, the form is again built with the sections that are of interest to you, but uh, what you will see at the top is the root map. So it's the workflow that will follow. So we can see that it's employee uh, self-assessment has been completed. Manager evaluation is currently being done now, which uh, will, once it's finished, it will go into a one-to-one -one meeting. You can click the icons and you can see that the one-to-one -one meeting is again uh, Carla and manager. They meet to do the one-to-one -one review. So you give instructions to your users to know how to run the process and they won't have to call you and tell you what's the next step. Once the process is completed, it could have additional steps, but once it's completed, it can go into a signature stage where either the employee or the manager or both can uh, acknowledge the completion of the process. And um, rating an employee can be quite... Uh, can be quite easy because um, the rating stars uh, allow the user to quickly just click and um, select the rating that um, is applicable for the particular, in this case, goal. Uh, they can uh, open and enter comments and this way go through the different goals and uh, rate them. The percentage that you see here can be configured on whether how much weight um, will be allocated for the rating of each section. In this case, we have goals and we have competencies, 50-50. So both are rated. Not all organizations have this. It depends on what uh, your needs, particular needs are. When rating competencies, the system uh, provides a lot of uh, those libraries that I was earlier talking about that allows managers to provide more constructive, more fair, and more clear feedback. So instead of uh, letting people just write open text, which also can be frustrating because um, it's difficult for people to just sit and open in, in front of an em empty box and start typing, we give them best practices. We give them a writing assistant with predefined feedback, depending on how uh, positive or negative they want the feedback to be, and uh, what tone of voice they want to use, and if they want to use a direct person or the name. Um, in general, the feedback that you see here is constructive. Um, it's not so much criticizing, but it's more constructive. So it really helps managers provide um, positive feedback and uh, that encourages people to improve on uh, whatever it is you're rating at the moment. 
Uh, a lot of organizations spend a very long time building libraries like this with HR consultants. You could utilize this information to speed up uh, your process and have a better performance evaluation cycle in your organization. So I can quickly select, um, if I believe that Marcus was quite good at this, he met a, but did not ex exceed expectations on this uh, competency which is for hiring. I selected the feedback and I can adjust the positivity to more positive or less positive depending on how I feel about it. So there's quite a lot of different options that managers can use. They can edit the final text before placing the quote and closing the screen to proceed with the next one. Um, you could have a section, if you like, that is about uh, developmental goals. Uh, usually these are not rated. Um, it's the list of skills, courses that people can take. And then this would be a very useful for you because you can export this list from all the employees and have your uh, training plan for the next year. Uh, in the end, you have uh, a final calculated rating based on all the weights from each section and each uh, line. And with this, you get an overall uh, rating that uh, reflects the final result. Um, again, there's places where you can add additional comments. Going back to the um, team overview, uh, page. Uh, Carla also has another way of looking at things. Uh, the results of the ratings for the different competencies for all the people all in one screen. This is a fantastic tool that allows managers to have the big picture and see how people compare against each other and who seems to be better at certain things than others. Uh, on at least the, the core competencies that the organization wants to have and these are co these should be common to to everybody so that you can rate them um, across the board so you can quickly change the ratings also from here and add comments again with the writing assistant and um, this allows managers to do more fair reviews because they can see in one page that uh, they, for example, rated Brenda 2, whereas actually, now that I think about it, she's better at communication than Marcus. So sh you can quickly go and change the ratings and see how that affects uh, the total rating. Um, and you get a summary uh, for, all, uh, for all people. Performance evaluations um, include, uh, as you have seen, uh, goals, which usually are set before we get to the uh, evaluation stage. Um, that's another module. We can show that to you uh, in a personal uh, meeting. Uh, now we will proceed to show you some of the performance management and goal management related dashboards. Um, these are also available from the home page and also from the module reports. We'll cover both. These are quickly way, uh, quick ways for a manager or even a, or an HR administrator to monitor the status of different elements. It could be goals, it could be recruiting, it could be anything in the system. These are just examples. So with just looking at it without even clicking on anything, I see that uh, there's still a lot of forms that are under employee assessment. So if you were an HR administrator, you would start sending emails or you would uh, remind people, you would push the process because you have the information at the time that you need it. And you won't have to send reminders to anybody. You won't have to send emails to find out where they are in the process. You have access to it immediately. Or uh, regarding the goal status, um, especially for directors, they, as the higher up you are in the organization, the more um, line of sight you have, the more access to, to uh, everybody else down the organizational structure. So you can see that 51% uh, are on track, but I still have 
2314 goals that are behind. Who are those goals that are behind? You just click on it and it will drill down to show you more information about the goals that are behind or completed and whatever. And all of these can be very quickly exported to Excel or CSV. So you can see the tools are very easy uh, to use. And if we also look at the full-blown reports module, uh, there is additional uh, tiles, all of these are, they're called dashboards with different tiles and you have different points of view, for example, for goals or objectives, depending on how you would like to call them, you can see them by status or if they're aligned, cascaded from top down, so for example, financial goals, you could uh, create them at the manager level and break them down to each member in the team and monitor them that way. Um, the objective distribution, objective comp completion, and so on. Again, all of these can be clicked to drill down, see the details, and export. It takes seconds to get to this information. Other types of dashboards that you could have would be for succession or compensation, uh, careers, or performance. So again, which forms are overdue uh, by stage in the process um, and other tiles that we, we could build. Going back to the home page, we see there is um, there's, uh, the careers page and um, also recruiting. These go together because you, when you um, announce a new uh, job uh, opening or requisition um, you can announce it also internally so when people log in as self-service they can see what positions are available and you could have internal applications but let's take a look at the recruiting module uh, from the beginning remember Carla Grant is a sales manager she also participates in interviews and assisting the recruiting process of sales-related positions that are um, uh, positions in her team. So every manager who is involved in recruiting has access to a simple uh, view of uh, requisitions that concern them. So they can see at any moment how many candidates they have, where in the process we're in, how far we have progressed, um, the requisition status that we're still sourcing, and drill down to see more information about the specific um, um, proce uh, requisition process. So the process behind the recruiting, again, can be configured as uh, per your specific needs. This is just an example and possibly based on best practices where you have several steps. Um, and for each step of the process, you can see how many people are uh, included. So you can click on it and uh, the list below will get updated to show you the candidates. And uh, it will show you whether it's an internal or external. So if it's an internal employee that is applying for this job or it has come from an external source. That external source could be the career site. That career site will be a page that we design within your website that is linked to the system where people can apply for a job, filling in some basic uh, information, attaching their cover letter and their CV, and that would come straight into the system into step that is called new application. So it's a seamless integration between the web and um, uh, the SuccessFactor system. So you can see the details of the candidate with any attachments or any other data that they provided. And going back to um, the list of uh, candidates, once you do uh, the evaluation, you can quickly drag and drop them into another step in the process. Uh, and that, that's the same uh, feature available also to recruiting uh, administrators or managers. Um, 
From here, you can also do a candidate search where based on specific uh, criteria or phrases or keywords, you can search your database for things that you are looking for. So it will search depending, maybe you want to search externally or internally. Um, to find people with the specific skill or um, certification or language uh, or whatever other keyboard you would like to get. So, and you have, if you have your, uh, their CV on record, then you can view it from here. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, once you have all the data in the system, you can manipulate it and uh, use it for your advantage. Um, very important is the preparation you, you allow managers to do before they go into an interview. So if Carla Grant is interviewing people for the sales engineer position, um, she can quickly see all the candidates. The team that is evaluating these people, so she could have other colleagues and people from the HR in this team, um, and quickly see the rating from all these people um, and uh, have a quick view of um, how each uh, person rates for this position. If uh, she hasn't been to the interview yet and she wants to get ready, she can click the print and go. She will get uh, the detailed description of the job, uh, the date, and uh, who is uh, applying for this. This is supposed to be printed and taken with the manager uh, at the meeting uh, because it will guide them on um, evaluating them on the right things and for all um, people who will participate in the interview to, to rate people on the same things so you'll have better quality results. Um, so for example if uh, this position requires these competencies um, then they can just click the rating and when they come back, they can uh, use the, this feedback they have to rate and get uh, a list of um, the best fit uh, for the job. Okay, you can also track your events, your recruiting events, and the, their, the, their success, how many candidates you got, uh, how many openings you've had. Um, so it's one place where you can organize all of your recruiting activities, processes, and give the tools to your managers and to whoever else is involved in the interviewing process to do their work more accurately, more fair, and more productively. Um, to get an idea of what the uh, website would look like, I could show you from a couple of customers that we have in um, that have been running these um, these sites. One of them is, uh, for example, Amdocs. Uh, so if you type Amdocs Careers, it will take you straight to jobs.amdocs.com. This can be designed to suit your uh, company um, profile, so it will look uh, the same as your website. And people can, um, if, if you have uh, recurring positions for which people uh, continuously apply, it would be a good idea to uh, allow them to have profiles built in uh, your site so that their data can be reused in the future for more openings. But you can um, very, simple search will return the open positions. So this would be an example where somebody would be interested in uh, this location and uh, they would be able to read a little bit about your organization, uh, job description, qualifications, and if they're interested they could apply now. In this case, for Amdoc's case, they need to first uh, log in because it allows them to save their uh, profile and reuse it. Another example would be careers at mrsis.com. 
and this is a more simple uh, version of the same thing. Um, you can quickly navigate to the open positions by department, by location, or you can just quickly go through the list here. And navigate to the read about the description, enter some key data, and upload the CV or other documents and submit. And again, once you submit, this goes back into the system um, where it can be managed uh, from there on. Okay. Um, other reporting tools available um, because what, what I have shown earlier are the dashboards and usually these are um, geared towards managers. For HR, um, uh, HR administrators, HR managers, and HR officers, like uh, um, I think most of you in this call are in that position, you would have additional tools for um, running reports that are more in-depth, that allow you to, part of the, the project implementation would be to train you on how to run these reports. Um, it's quite simple, actually. It's not a very complicated thing, but you you would be able to get um, more re reports the way that, you, that you're used to. For example, if you would like to get a list of goals, um, you would get it in a list that is more like an Excel, and you can, of course, export it uh, with lots of lots of data depending on what you want to see. So we can build we can uh, train you on how to build um, reports very easily that serve your particular needs. Again, these are not usually for managers, these are the, for the HR department. Um, an important thing to mention here is that you would be quite independent from your IT. It doesn't need technical skills, it doesn't need um, database knowledge to export reports and run reports from success factors. It was built for HR uh, people, not for IT. Um, also important to mention is that you don't need anybody to upgrade the system every time there is a new release. These come directly from SAP uh, four times a year. Uh, every quarter there is a new version. It's um, sent to you with the videos and with instructions on, so that you can decide which features you would like to use from the new list or and which not. Um, with very simple self-training, you'll be able to apply the changes, the upgrades, the enhancements, and the, the system will be ready. You don't need IT technical support to do any upgrades, and the system will never be down for an upgrade. So um, I haven't seen any questions in the chat. Please uh, let us know if there's something that we, we, you would, in, in the scope that we have shown that we, you would like uh, to ask something about. If not, we will get in touch with you to set up a personal uh, meeting to review your specific uh, needs. Um, okay. So thank you everyone for joining today. I hope this uh, demonstration was uh, sufficient to give you an idea of the simplicity, flexibility, and extensibility of the system. And uh, we will be in touch for uh, uh, a more personalized uh, call and uh, discussion um, on the particular in the particular area. Okay.